Hi, this is Peter, and I'd like to show you my new 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee High Altitude. It's a 4x4 with the um, Eco Diesel engine, and I'd like to just show you a little bit around. As you can see, the, uh, the High Altitude has certain features. This Grand Cherokee is uh, almost fully loaded. It has almost every feature. Um, there's a couple of features that it doesn't have. Um, but let's see, where we, can we start? We could start with the seats. The seats are very nice Napa leather. Uh, you can see the holes in the seats here, and that's because the, the seats ha are both uh, ventilated and heated. And there's a venting feature, a little fan that turns on that circulates air. You can barely feel it when it turns on. But uh, and also the, the heated seats are nice and warm, even if it's uh, kind of still warm outside. The heated seats will keep your back nice and comfy. So uh, the, the seats are actually really, really good. Um, over to the side, um, of the of the seat about right there uh, is a controller for the lumbar and it's got four positions on it and basically it will um, inflate this little bag behind the seat right about here and uh, it kind of inflates and uh, really kind of provides some back support for you which uh, which is really really cool while, if you're going for a long drive um, and uh, you could inflate it and, and it kind of heats up too when you, you turn on those heat warmers. Um, it's actually really, really nice. Um, also to the, you can adjust your seat over here to the, to the right is a little control panel that uh, adjusts the seat position and it lets it, let's see if I can show you mine here over on the driver's side. Uh, there it is. There's mine and uh, it kind of controls the seat forward, backward, you know, up, down. It's, it's your standard control panel. Um, here's that lumbar support that I was talking about that it'll, that, that it'll inflate the bag or deflate the bag and uh, same thing with the one underneath or the one, um, it'll deflate that one as well. Um, so here's my, my seat, the driver's seat. Looks just like the passenger seat. It's very nice. It's got the, uh, the headrest there. Um, and so let's come back into the car and take a look at a couple other features here. It's got the nice wood paneling here on the side. And uh, you could see here where that's got a little bit of chrome. Uh, at night, this lights up here. There's a little blue light. Um, over here on the uh, driver's side control panel, you have all the, the features you would expect. One's to unlock and lock the car, or open the windows, open them automatically too, the, the two ones, or you could turn off uh, the back ones, or access to the back ones. And of course, here you've got uh, your, your uh, mirror adjustments, and this button here in the center, if you push this button, it'll cause the mirrors to fold in like that, which is also kind of cool. Push the button again, it'll fold out. Uh, one of the things about the mirrors, which is kind of cool, is uh, underneath the mirrors is a little light that does light out at night, so that's kind of neat. Um, and you could see over here in the mirror, there's kind of two little icons there. It's that little triangle there will light up if there's a car in your blind spot. And uh, the, de uh, the defroster there is uh, also will uh, defrost uh, those windows if you need, need the defroster to defrost those. So uh, this is the high altitude package that um, yeah, pretty much has uh, all your features inside. Um, but uh, let's see here, what else can we go through the steering wheel? The steering wheel uh, is your standard Jeep steering wheel, except it's got a couple extra buttons on it for uh, the, the fully loaded features here of the high altitude. Um, it's got here the control panel, the, the little or the, the little controls for the, uh, the, um, the heads up unit here uh, in the car. Um, you can see it's completely digital. It's turned off right now and I'll turn it on in, in the next video. But uh, over here to the right are all your cruise control buttons. And uh, I know there, there looks like a lot of cruise control buttons here. Um, I'll go into the cruise control in more detail in the next video, but it's actually my favorite feature right here is the, uh, I call it the radar cruise control. It's, uh, uh, it's called the uh, active cruise control, I think. Um, and uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about how that works. 
Um, but uh, also here it's got a couple of buttons for making phone calls where uh, I could pick up my call or drop it and uh, if I yeah, if I uh, use this button here, uh, if I push it once, I'll get voice recognition for the car's head unit, which is a Uconnect system. But uh, this is the 2018, so it also has the Apple CarPlay integration. So I've got my little cable here. I don't have my, my phone uh, plugged in quite yet, um, but uh, I'll do that in another video. But uh, if you press and hold this button, then Siri comes up and you can go and ask Siri to do just about anything you can think of. Um, not quite as many things as you could do on the phone, but still quite, as, quite, a, quite a few things. Um, okay, I think that's enough for this video. Um, I hope you like my high altitude and I'll talk to you later.